The CW is partnering with Vote.org to help people get out and vote this year. CW 50's April Morton shows us how the event is helping make it all happen with some extra love. Detroiters casting their early ballots at the city clerk's office Thursday were treated to a free lunch courtesy of the Vote.org food truck. And I love this. this these people are serving tacos with chicken and uh, some kind of Cajun sauce. As part of their Vote Actually campaign, Vote.org has been touring the country, getting out the word on the importance of voting and showing their appreciation to voters by providing free meals to those waiting to vote. This week, they're in Flint and Detroit at various polling locations. Just trying to get, you know, people to come out and vote and participate because, uh, you know, we, everybody has to get their votes in to uh, make a change. Danny Chan with Vote.org is from New York and says he's seen a large turnout this week with Detroit voters. Uh, yesterday we served about a thousand people. And one of those voters enjoying this festive voting environment is Detroiter Betty Mannings. I think the, the voters need to know that they can come somewhere and don't have to be afraid and they can eat and people are giving this stuff away. Danny says they're doing just that and giving away chicken and veggie tacos across the country is just one way they're showing appreciation to those exercising their rights to vote. And in return, people are showing them some love. On the highway while I'm driving this, every time someone passes, they're honking. The Vote.org food truck will be back in Detroit tomorrow at various polling locations. For more information, follow them on their Twitter page. In Detroit, April Morton, CW50 News at 10. Thanks, April.